Fine, you want me to talk about it, I'll talk about it. But first, we gotta watch it. Mm. So that is Veronica Shaw, AKA Chef P. And no, despite what it looked like, she did not give out a food moan because she put Pepto on her burger, but rather she was putting on pink sauce. It's apparently a sauce she created. It's taken TikTok by storm. And so it's also been met with a fair share of mockery and scandal. But where I'll start is that the sauce was released for $20 on July 1st at 11, 11 AM. With that apparently being important because it's a so-called angel number and it's a recurring pattern in Chef P's products. And instantly before this sauce was even available to the public, there were issues and criticisms. You had things like there being errors on the bottle and people saying, why does it have 444 servings. If that's accurate, that's not a condiment, but a better way to kill someone. Though, Chef P later clarified that the bottles had 444 grams per container, not servings, and that would be fixed. But, you know, with this, you had a number of people going, okay, if you're, if you're already messing up just at the basic stuff, the food safety label, what else is going to go wrong? So people started kind of pointing more fingers. You had people noticing that the color of the sauces seemed to change from neon pink to more of a pastel color. With Chef P initially claiming that it was just the lighting, but then later admitting that it was an intentional change in adding. When you put too much dragon fruit inside of the, you know, it makes you poop red, it's like if you eat too much beets. So I didn't want people like, oh, my shit is pink. But then you also had possible food safety issues. Where reportedly around 50 customers complained that they had received sauce that was open and smelled rotten. With Chef P quickly taking responsibility, saying that the mistake was in how she packaged the product in a bag instead of a box, which allowed the bottles to get smashed. But then combined with earlier videos that seemed to indicate it was made with mayonnaise or that the product label said it had milk, raised concerns about the product's shelf stability. Although Chef P claimed that it was dried milk, which is shelf stable. But, you know, the big elephant in the room, and maybe you're kind of catching on here, is that you had a lot of people going, is she just dodging? food safety regulations. This is something she actually addressed in a live video after one user asked if she had FDA approval saying, I don't sell medical products. The pink sauce is not a medical product. The pink sauce don't contribute to your health. I never said that. Did I? With users then quickly mocking her answer saying, hey, the F in FDA stands for food. But here's the deal, she's not completely wrong. The FDA does not approve food items before they're made, only additives. But critics were still half right because the FDA requires that facilities that make these sauces register with the agency and follow strict rules and guidelines. And right now it's unclear and based on the description of her small team and operation, unlikely that she meets those rules. And looking into this further, cottage food regulations in Florida, which normally allow for small homemade businesses to make shelf stable products without a license, also don't protect her. And that's specifically because she's making sauces and condiments which are prone to not being shelf stable. So it's very likely both at the state and federal level that she's gonna have to deal with regulators. And for her, this is kind of the, the good thing, bad thing about going viral online. You're like, holy hell, I could make a ton of money from this, but you're instantly launched into the spotlight. While most people say there is no such thing as bad attention when the government is involved, yes, there can be. And if all this was really done haphazardly, like th this could get bad. And I mean that both on health and legal fronts. Right? I mean, whether intentional or not, if you're dodging food regulations, those are meant to keep people safe. And so far, a few people have claimed that they've gotten sick from the sauce, but I, I gotta say, that's hard to verify. And honestly, now, especially with the spotlight on her, she'll be lucky if it's only a handful of people saying they got sick from this. Like, this could get really bad for her, because this isn't just a viral on the internet thing. You Like, you have uh, mainstream outlets like Forbes covering this now. But, you know, the, the final thing I'll say here, and I think it is key, is that while I can't guarantee what pink sauce will do to your insides, I can guarantee that if you get in on this brand new beautiful bastard drop, you will not get food poisoning from it. And I mean that for all our offerings, whether it be from getting our exhausted hat, shirt, hoodie, or tank. And the same goes for our beautiful bastard gear. So grab some while you can, cause I wanna be on your body. That's no, that's not the slogan. What I meant to say is I'd like some of my stuff on your body. That still, it doesn't, it doesn't work.